Hey everybody and welcome to the video. Today we're going to be making deep dish cast iron pizza. After having trouble finding a good deep dish for cheap in Portland, I figured I'd try my hand at making one from scratch. After a lot of experimenting and a few smoke alarms, I finally nailed down my perfect recipe for thick crust pan pizza. This is by no means a healthy or low calorie recipe, but I'll explain later in the video and in the description some ways we can lower the calories down a bit for those of you that are dieting. Be sure to give the video a like if you enjoy it and subscribe if you'd like to see more. I put out new videos every Monday and Friday. First up, we want to start our dough. We're going to be making a recipe from Chef John of Food Wishes fame. Link to his channel in the description. That man is amazing. Seriously, go check him out. In a mixing bowl, add a quarter cup of warm water. The hottest you can get from the tap will be perfect. Then add one package of dry active yeast and one teaspoon of honey. Mix together with a whisk and let this sit for 10 minutes. After this is rested, we need to add 3 quarters of a cup of water, one tablespoon of oil, and one teaspoon of salt. Slowly add flour into the mixture until it's too thick to mix with a spoon. Scoop the pizza dough onto a well-floured surface and knead the dough with your palms, adding in the remaining flour. You should use about two and a half cups of flour in total, but this may change. When the dough ball is no longer sticky and picking up flour from the countertop, you'll know it's ready. Put the dough into a mixing bowl and quickly spray with cooking spray. Cover with a damp towel and let it rest in a warm place for 30 to 40 minutes. I warmed my oven for two to three minutes and let it rest in there. It should be about double in size when you take it out. This step is where you can actually split the dough to make two pizzas if you want, but we're going to be using the whole thing because I want the crust to be thick. Knead the dough on a floured surface once again, stretch it over like this to get a nice smooth round shape. We're going to cover this again and let it rest for another 30 minutes. Preheat your oven to 500 degrees Fahrenheit and put your cast iron pan directly in the oven to preheat as well. While we're waiting for the oven, chop some fresh garlic for the pizza. You can never have too much garlic. Now that the dough is done rising, shape it into a circle carefully and slowly pushing and stretching so we don't get any tears in our crust. Once the cast iron is preheated, you'll want to melt about a tablespoon of butter into the pan. Make sure to coat around the edges. This makes a huge difference in crisping the crust since we're not cooking in a normal pizza oven that's much hotter. Place the dough into the pan with a quick spray of vegetable oil, then season with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Bake the crust for about four minutes by itself. This allows the crust to get a head start on the cooking so our toppings don't burn. As quick as you can pull the crust out, add the sauce, cheese, and whatever toppings you'd like. Make sure to put the cheese and sauce to the edge of the pan. The cheese will caramelize and it'll be amazing, I promise. Put the pizza in the oven for about another 10 minutes. You'll want to keep an eye on it. Let it stay in there as long as your toppings don't get too brown. While this is cooking, we're going to make a glaze of sorts for our crust. In a small bowl, add warm water, honey, cayenne, and garlic powder. Whisk together and set aside. Pull the pizza out of the oven. Separate the crispy edge from the pan with a fork so we can brush on our spicy honey glaze. Let the pizza rest for about 10 to 15 minutes before slicing, but that is it. This recipe really is incredible and can be modified with different toppings or customized any way you'd like. For those of you watching calories, you can literally cut all of the ingredients in half and this still makes a great pizza. Be sure to give this one a try if you have a cast iron pan. Cooking a pizza from scratch will definitely get you some brownie points with your significant other, friends, or family. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you'd like to see more, and leave a comment down below if you're going to give this one a try. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, have a good one.